morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Monday. We are one week away from the Super Bowl. Not really one week. We're six days. I got something serious. We got to go for it, man. Let's go for it. Has anybody seen my glasses? My sunglasses. Right. If I didn't look, if I didn't look, uh, lack of a better word, uh, country as hell, I would wear a sleeveless shirt a lot. I hate sleeves. I absolutely hate them. So in the summer, you know, every time we go somewhere to the pool or I can't wait to put on that sleeveless shirt. Yeah. Everybody, and I'm going to bring this up. Does everybody hate a winner? I think they hate smug winners. Belichick is very, very smug. Right. And Tom Brady's just that poster boy. I'm a... God, I hope my brother ain't watching this. <laughs> I'm a Tom Brady fan. I am a Tom Brady fan. Came in at the last, next to last pick in the draft. Didn't have a shot. Read what he was good at. Made better that. Got a chance. And had how many Super Bowls is this number? Well, this is number seven they're in. They've won four, five. Oh, somebody correct me there. Four or five. This is number seven. No, this will be number five if they win. He, he ties Chuck Noll. I believe that's right. Somebody, he does. Yeah, Belichick. But I he did he win all those with Brady? Brady. I don't know. Have to, yeah, somebody correct me. I thought Brady's won three, and he's been to f four, maybe five. I, anyway. Well, they've lost twice. Let me just say, good-looking guy, won a bunch of Super Bowls. Hot wife. Dates supermodels, marries supermodel. I can't hate him. I'm sorry. I just can't. It is literally hard. To Unless do he's that. playing the Cowboys, and I hate him. But the thing is, it's hard to. to people say it all the time, but you, you did. But it's hard to really look at an underdog who went, they don't think I'm good enough, and I'm going to work my butt off to become great. And once I do, yeah, I got a chip on you my You know what? Shoulder. It depends on what sport you're watching. If you're watching football, right. you hate you hate that Richard Sherman. You hate that Belichick. Yeah. If you're watching MMA, you love Conor McGregor. Yeah, well, that, that's exactly. You love right. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that, that's that's you. That's a really. But if good they point. were in if they were in something else, you to, you you know you, you made a great point there. <clears throat> so it's kind of what the media makes that sport. Yeah. We like to see Tiger Woods fail. Because he was so good. Yeah, most people do. You know, I, I don't. But you know what I mean. You want it? Well, I don't even come back after everything. You know, he was handing it to him. This dude's playing golf since he's three years old. Yeah. Shoot a three. You they got... tried to play a two-man game, and neither one of them showed up. <laughs> so it just went down. Threw the ball out of bounds with 1.3 seconds over to the other team. Oh, that was actually <laughs> Kansas that... won 51 in a row at home. What is your favorite thing to do? Besides that, before you go anywhere, what is your favorite thing to do? If you had time on your hands, I have no idea why my phone just did that. What's your favorite thing to do? Like, man, I just like to sit on the beach and drink beer. What's your favorite thing to do? Yep. Sit on the beach and drink beer? Nope. You can't say the sex part, I guess. That's you it. didn't say I could. I did at the start. I said besides that, right when I started. Nothing. That's all I got. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I've said we have talked about this before, and I have not done this in a hundred years. Seems like being on a golf course. Oh, yep. At sunset, by yourself, just hitting golf balls. Sprinklers come on and run you out of there. But that was that's one of the most peaceful. And cool things I think I've ever done in my life is I lived with my dad at the time, and I would hit the golf course late in the evening, uh, waiting on somebody that, that was the lifeguard to get off work, and I'd go and hit, golf, hit balls. golf balls, and you know, finally the the sprinkler would come on, and the 
You'd see the little rainbow deals in the sprinkler. That, that was just a very, very peaceful, cool thing. Other than that, it would take, it would be a beach. And if Julia it. Roberts walked up to you while you were there, what would she say? Right when you She would probably her. want to go to that no. sex part we can't talk about. No, I want to know the words she would say to you. They know. I told them last week. What would I'm she just say? Girls, damn little boys. <laughs> asking you to love me. Mine, I already love you. Oh, okay. Mine, I would, it, it would just be in, in, a, gym, in a gym somewhere. Just in what would gym. she say if she walked up to you? Julia Where's Roberts? Chris? <laughs> That's what she'd say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I just got burned. You better say that. Just got burned on that. 